we found someone that can sing pretty well, that wants to work together with us. Yeah, what's up in today's vlog? Um, we're right here uh, at PPC Hanover and we got need, need to buy some stuff because my uh, bass drum head broke after a couple of years. Um, we're gonna go down to the label and pick up the rest of our CDs. We found someone that can sing pretty well, that wants to work together with us. Uh, we're gonna show you later and also Hayab has got some stuff for you. Good morning. It's 6.30 right now. I still wake up early and it has a reason. I just want to give you a little update and show you what I'm currently doing. The most important thing is I'm doing a Dimebag tribute. I always wanted to learn like a song and keep him alive. You can check it out here or in the description. I put a lot of work into it. Maybe I show you a little. This is a uh, work in progress. Just an idea I had a few days ago and then I was like, yeah, let's, let's do it. And I knew it would be a challenge because like normally for such a picture, I would need like 20 hours. It's like five to six, seven hours a day that I have to do. And on top of that, I wanted to learn uh, a solo. I chose one of my favorite solos, The Sleep. It's an awesome solo. And I'll back to work because this thing still needs 10 hours, I would say. I need to finish it today and tomorrow I will need to upload it. Another thing I want to show you is this little tool. You probably haven't seen uh, the vlogging setup, but it looks like this. And I was using it with this thing from my tripod and it's big, heavy and not really portable. With this little thing, it becomes much easier. It's uh, lightweight and uh, <coughs> makes it so much more compact so it's easier to take with me it is also a tripod so if you put it on a surface you can uh, put on your camera like this and it's very helpful all right back to my main camera there's another thing i want to show you i don't know this uh, today i want to show you a lot of stuff so the other thing is reddit gifts it is uh, something like an exchange and uh, you gift someone you don't know so the system will give you a random partner that you can gift something so you can see his profile on on reddit what his interests are and what he's writing about and also everyone has to answer some questions uh, so the other person knows what this person might be interested in i got a gift for him it's already here sorry if you can't see it he might google me so i won't show it to you i'm quite excited what he will send me so that's a pretty cool idea and I just wanted to share this. Thanks for watching, see you next time. But first of all, we're going to have our, our coffee. coffee. As, as always, if you come here, you just pay a little bit and then you have like more or less free coffee, right? Free coffee, that's what we like. A couple of weeks ago, we put up an ad here that we we're or are looking for a vocalist, but we can't find it right now. Uh, someone, someone took it. Someone put it down. That's why no one called. What are you looking for again? Bass drum head. Bass drum head. All right. How long did the last one last? <laughs> Four years. Four years. Are you satisfied now? Yes. All right. Good. All right, let's go. So now we are heading to the label, our old label, who back then made it possible to play on the uh, 70,000 tons of metal cruise. And when was that? 2013. So I'm going to pick up the CDs now. It takes forever to get to the label's headquarter here through the fucking city traffic. A beautiful church on our way home to the apartment. Yes, that is my beautiful church. Here in Germany is good churches. Yes. It's nice with the... Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> and there we are. 
whole bunch of CDs left. Die immer lacht. Immer lacht. Immer lacht. Immer lacht. Immer lacht. VFL. What's book? So we uh, got back from the from the label and picked up our CDs. Um, we just wanted to give uh, just a little insight for probably um, uh, maybe younger bands or bands that just started out or if you're thinking about going to a label or even like independent labels, smaller labels, um, what our thoughts on that are. Because um, in the first, uh, the first moment you would probably think it's nice to, to sign somewhere at a label which is uh, definitely true if it's like a big major label in your, in your country or a smaller major label or something that really has a lot of uh, connections, contacts, uh, a big network to, to deal with. Uh, we, we just uh, talked about it in the car and we, we uh, thought for this, this album, this is what we have. We, we saw quite a bunch of it, but uh, we still have some of them left. And now we decided to, to step away from, from any, any a label any service uh, for for our smaller bands because we figured out after we done we, we made the decision to go to a label we figured out that you can actually do most of it yourself uh, if you have if you want to put on uh, put in a little bit more work for example that's the distribution of, of your CDs and physical CDs do you still need them you know it all costs money the biggest part of the money that goes out to, to labels is for the production of the CD and uh, the service to distribute your stuff into in physical form into the shops. So um, you should really think about if you, if that's what you what you want in 2016. If you want a physical copy, it, it, of course you always want a physical copy. I can understand that, and you should always have one. I think the question is, do you really need to to have them on? Because when they say physical distribution, that means they are on the list of most of the shops in your country. And people can order them. That does not mean your cool album that you spent the last two years producing is going to be in the shop in, in every music shop in, in your country. That's not how it works. But that's how they obviously like to act as if it were. Uh, not that it is bad. They have to own, uh, earn their own money and, and everything. Um, but um, think about the physical distribution very carefully before you, you decide to, to drop a deal and look where the costs are. If they are in the physical distribution uh, part, uh, the digital distribution, you can do that yourself as well. So you might as well go out and uh, produce a CD, put them where you are and um, just uh, sell them yourself, send them out yourself. It's not going to be so much that you can't handle it anyway at the start. And you want to uh, maybe get the digital distribution out there yourself as well because you might uh, save a lot of money and then the, you only have the production at your cost unless you have a good uh, label with a lot of networking uh, like the one we had was, was perfectly fine for the start there was a lot of uh, contacts a lot of opportunities made us play uh, uh, in Miami on the cruise and um, uh, at metal days it's it's cool it was perfect for the, uh, to start out with but remember that, like maybe you want to try it out for the first album. In the second one, you know a lot more, and then you can make real good decisions if you want to continue staying with someone or want to do the stuff yourself. And we also found a potential new vocalist for us on YouTube. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We're watching this guy right here. Uh, he does a lot of Metallica vocal covers. And it's pretty, pretty sick. And um, we were watching, like, we we're, we we're looking for the singer, uh, like, everywhere, basically. And uh, we were also uh, looking for someone that actually already does, like, vocal covers and is doing something with his, uh, with his voice, like, on YouTube. He's trying to show people he's, he's, he's working with it. I think he's from, uh, he's from uh, Idaho. I just wrote him an email and asked him, like, if he wants to maybe if he's free and he wants to uh, write an album with us. And so yeah, he instantly wrote back and uh, he's interested. So that's really, really nice. It's a real um, old school headfieldish voice, I would say. So that's really cool. And um, we're gonna show you some some uh, some stuff uh, of him. Uh, but uh, anyway, just check him out real quick and give him a give we're him going a We're going to link up his channel right here. Yeah. The channel is called Coverman, is that right? Man. Coverman. You should really check him out, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah. And I think the, uh, what we are going to do is try to work with him on like 
two to three songs or whatever, send him send him demos and then see what he can do and he wants to go, he wants to wants to do it. He says he's free, he uh, likes our shit and then I think his voice is pretty cool and there's uh, definitely potential in it and we'll gonna try one or two songs and then see how it goes from there. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> We were thinking about now that, that we still got 300 uh, of these things laying around. Uh, we'll give away one of them. Why not? Uh, that's the exact one I have touched, so that's what you want probably. So it looks like this. It's our first album. It's pretty sick. Uh, we actually sold a couple of them, so uh, these are the leftovers. And it has like this, all this crazy shit right in here. Like Crown Royal and then you got a cigarette here and all the and a lot of and then old, old pictures. pictures. This is Rock'em Ring, I don't know the year. Right. This used to be our manager. This is our right. rehearsal space, like the old one. And this is a yeah. stage we... The Vuzzle stage. The yeah. Vuzzle stage. Craziest people. Also Rock'em Ring. Rock'em and, um, Ring. Some yeah. old pictures of us and all this shit. We'll, we'll, we'll sign this. What should people do to win this album? So if you want this album, just leave a, leave a comment saying I want this album and you get an album, maybe. If, if one, person. one person. One person. One person gets this signed. This sick motherfucker. Instead of spending 12 euros. Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. And YouTube. <laughs> <laughs>